So here's an example of how to use the rounded masks template I have within vMix. Uh, as you can see in this basic setup here, I just have two calls coming in and a couple of basic sets. Um, and then we'll show you how the masks are applied. Basically, we use the key fill option to take in a layer to mask out an area, then add a border as well. Then we also have the option within the pack to do an inner mask as well, if you want to add things like lower thirds. Uh, so looking at this example here, what I've done is I've put my uh, mask there, my border there, and my inner mask there. And then at the moment, they're just in on lists, which makes it easier to adjust in real time. But you can just import individual files as and when you need them if you're only using one set of masks for a show. So th there's the, uh, the callers in, all quite dull. What I've done is I've duplicated and made a virtual input of those two callers so we can keep the originals. And then we'll look at affecting these two callers here, which currently appear on states here which aren't that interesting. So if we look at caller, caller one here, we can go in and apply a mask. So now this mask list here is what's gonna mask out the main shape. So if we go into that list, the main masks, I've only put a couple of the examples in here just to show, but if I put, click on that one there, you'll see there's a three by four mask with a 108 pixel corner or a 216 pixel corner, etc., etc. And all these are in the packs. So they're all the three by fours. Then you've got the four by threes again with the variable corners. So if we start with looking at a, a three by four with a 324 corner, then what we can do is choose the border. Now again, the borders match what we've had there as the mask. We want to find a three by four that's 324 pixel corner. So there we are, there's a three by four, 324 pixel corner, and you'll see that there's six different border options. So start from thin, get thicker, all the way up to six, which is the thickest. So six different options per corner. So there's four different shapes. There's three by four, four by three, square, and 16 by nine. Within those, there's five different corner sizes from small little corners to uh, half, half of the shape corners. And then within that as well, there's six different border shapes. So we'll just use this border shape here. In fact, we'll use border two, make it a bit bigger. So if we go into this input now, we can apply that mask and overlay that border. So to do that, we go into the input, go into the color key, down to the key fill input to the bottom. And in this example, I'll choose the, the list that I've chosen of main masks, but you might just choose the individual uh, image that you've in, imported. So you can see there now that image has now had the mask applied to it. So it's curved in those corners, like the mask we've got. What we can do then is then overlay the border that fits exactly that mask. So if we go into our layers and multi-view, and on layer 10, we'll put our borders. So we can see there now that input has got that border and that mask. The advantage of using the lists is that now we could change these to be any other um, masks and borders if we didn't like them. So we can go back into the main masks list and maybe have that sort of three by four with only 108 corner. So now you can see that on there, I've actually narrowed the amount of corner there is. It's still the same border applied. So we need to go into the border list and change that as well to be 304, 108, one pix. And there it is, you'll see that border. So that might be a better, better image. And again, we can change that to be two pixels wide, two, three, four, five, or six, but if we go back to two. So we can do this again for our second input now. Again, because we've got them in lists, we can just apply that exactly the same as we've done in the first one. So the color key, key input fill, main mask, and then in multi-view layer, 10, a list of borders. So now we've got two inputs that have been applied. So therefore that scene looks much nicer. So if we play him, and we've got the two different scenes. And they can merge however we need, and the borders stay perfectly in shape. So that all works quite well. What we can do as well is as a, we can add lower thirds to these, and we also have the option to add an inner mask, which is basically the black of that square there. It's the inner bit of the border, which might be useful for masking out certain areas if you want to overlay on top of things. Uh, but for this example, we'll maybe put a lower third in on the presenter one. So we'll put a lower third there. And you'll see, if I go to presenter one, that lower third is obviously too big. It's not taking into account the mask that we've made for the presenter or the border. So we can use this inner mask list to choose an inner mask. So the mask we used for the main presenter was a, 300, a 3 by 4 216 picks. And the border was 3 by 108 picks, border 2. So if we go into the inner masks and choose 
3 by 4 108 picks border in the two we can choose an inner border so they, those two look slightly different you'll see that's the whole shape that's the bit with the border removed so those two combined would make that so these are quite useful not all the time you could just use this main mask a lot of the time to mask out lower thirds but this is if you wanted it to come in over the top of things and not appear underneath the border so what we can do now is apply this mask to our main lower third so if we go into this lower third here and as before go to the color key and choose the inner mask as the option for that we'll now see that that lower third has appeared exactly in the right shape inside the mask so if we go from there to there and have that select and merge the lower thirds appear inside the mask perfectly so again once these are set up we can go in and change just one more time the three masks here and this will globally affect everything so we go into our main mask and maybe make this a four by three so we'll go by four by three 200 picks corner there we are and we see that the shapes have changed the borders don't match and the lower third mask doesn't match so that was a four by three 216 picks we now choose our border and we'll go down to four by three 216 picks and we'll have one with three so they're starting to match but the lower thirds don't match so then we go to our third list which is the inner masks and again we go down to four by three 216 three and now once again everything all matches so hopefully that gives you an idea of how to use uh, the cornered mask pack uh, the link is below in the comments if you want to go and have a look there or please feel free to write anything in comments if you've got anything you'd like to add but hopefully that's useful to someone when designing some shows